What is up guys? It is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and it is that time of year once again. WrestleMania is this weekend. Therefore today I am bringing you my WrestleMania 40 predictions once again with my dog Woody. Five years we've been doing this. It's crazy. It's felt like two weeks. Anyway, without further ado, guys, let's get right into the first prediction of WrestleMania Night 1. Kicking off WrestleMania Night 1, we have a tag team match between Rey Mysterio and Dragon Lee and Dominic Mysterio and Santos Escobar. Who do I think is going to win this match? I'm not going to lie to you. I would have rather seen Ray versus Dom again and then had like a retirement match for Ray next year if he was ready. Uh, but obviously they've been telling this Ray Mysterio and Santos Escobar story for a while now. Better yet then just do a single match between those two. I don't know. I'm not really looking forward to this one. If anything, I feel like it could even be on the kickoff show. I hope not. I want everyone to get that WrestleMania pay. But... I'm not just I'm just not that interested. So I am going with Dominic Mysterio and Santos Escobar to pick up the win here. What do you think, Woody? The next match of WrestleMania Night 1 is a six-woman tag team match between Damage Control, Dakota Kai, Asuka, and Kairi Sane taking on the team of Naomi, Bianca Belair, and Jade. Cargill, I'm very much looking forward to this one. Jade has looked like an absolute star recently and I cannot wait to see her on the WrestleMania stage. I am going with Bianca Belair, Naomi and Jade Cargill to pick up the victory. What do you think, Woody? Coming up next is a six-pack challenge ladder match for both sets of the WWE Tag Team titles. Not the Undisputed titles. This is a case of... The match continues until both sets are pulled down. So if the Judgment Day pull down the Raw set and then Awesome Truth pull down the SmackDown set, the titles are split. The Judgment Day are no longer undisputed champions and both brands go back to having their own championships. But what if, what if Finn Balor pulls down the SmackDown, Priest pulls down the Raw, then technically they're still the undisputed but do they have to pull down all four belts or is it just one of each? Because if Bala then pulls down the Raw and R-Truth then pulls down the Raw, are they a new tag team? There's so many questions here and I cannot wait to see the carnage unfold. But guys, I've just realised ranting about the rules. I haven't even told you who's in the match. We've got the Judgment Day, of course, defending both sets of their tag team championships against Awesome Truth, The Miz and R-Truth. DIY, Johnny Gargano and Damian Priest. The New Day, Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods. The New Catch Republic, Pete Dunne and Tyler Bate. And A-Town, Down Under, Austin Theory and Grayson Waller. Now, there's been rumours for weeks about potentially returning teams here. The Dudley Boys have been named because we're in Philly. I don't see that happening. I don't think Devon would get medically cleared. The Hardy Boys, another one. I believe Matt Hardy's contract with AEW is up. We saw him at Raw the other week. Don't know about Jeff though, so I'm not sure about that one. If there is a surprise, I will be absolutely over the moon. I popped so hard at WrestleMania 33 when the Hardys returned. And to feel something like that again would be awesome. But if I had to pick a winner here, I am going with DIY to pull down the SmackDown Tag Team Championships and then the Judgment Day to pull down the Raw Tag Team Championships. I think they're going to split the titles, but I don't really see anyone else taking them. You know, I, I've, I don't know. This, this is very, very difficult to predict, is this one. What do you think, Woody? For the first time since Mania 25, we have a brother versus brother match. Jay Uso, Yeet versus Jimmy Uso. No Yeet. The one-on-one -on -one match we've been waiting for since SummerSlam in Detroit last year. The Usos finally clashing one-on-one. -on -one. We saw this teased in the Royal Rumble and now we're getting the full match. 
Jay Uso is picking up the victory here. I don't see why Jimmy would need to. I don't see why we need to continue this feud. Jay gets his win, can move on to better things. There you go. What do you think, Woody? The ring get around defends his Intercontinental Championship as Gunther takes on Sami Zayn. Now, Sami won a gauntlet match in this match, defeating Chad Gable, which I think a lot of us... A lot of us wanted Gable to be the one to go to WrestleMania and dethrone Gunther. That's obviously not happened. We've got Sami Zayn. We need to be ha happy for Sami anyway. This is still going to be a great match. And we still love Sami. Um, I'm excited to see it nevertheless. But unlike Gable, I don't believe that Sami can defeat Gunther. And I don't think it's going to happen. I've got Gunther retaining the Intercontinental Championship and continuing his historic reign. What do you think, dog? The Women's World Championship is on the line as Rhea Ripley defends against Becky Lynch. WrestleMania one year ago, Rhea won the SmackDown Women's Championship. She's held the Women's World Championship ever since. Will that historic one-year reign come to a close this weekend? I don't think so. I think Rhea Ripley is picking up a big victory over Becky Lynch. I do think they're in a bit of trouble now, though, as I don't really think there's anyone on the roster that can believably beat Rhea. I think Becky is probably the final threat, and I don't think she's going to do it. Unless, you know, we have a Becky Hill turn or something, or she cheats to win. I don't see Becky Lynch beating Rhea Ripley here, and I think Rhea is going to continue to dominate the women's division. Woody, do you agree? And that brings us to the main event of WrestleMania Night 1. The tag team match. The bloodline. The tribal chief, Roman Reigns. The final boss, The Rock. Taking on the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. And the world heavyweight champion, Seth freaking Rollins. Is it going to be... I don't know. Will we get bloodline rules the next night? Will we get no bloodline interference the next night? Will there be a heel turn? Will there be a babyface turn? I don't know. This one is going to be crazy. But either way, <clears throat> if I was predicting this, I would have The Rock turn face, turn on Roman Reigns, have Cody and Seth win, and then the next night Roman's all on his own. And we'll go from there. But I don't know if that's going to happen. Maybe The Rock turns on Roman on night two. If The Rock turns on Roman at all. Maybe Roman turns on The Rock. I don't know. But either way, I am going with the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes and Seth freaking Rollins to pick up the victory here. And then have Roman and Cody one on one for night two. Woody, who's winning this one? With WrestleMania night one out of the way, we now move on to WrestleMania Sunday night two. And kicking off the show, we have six-man tag action. The Pride, Lashley and the Street Profits, taking on the final testament, Cross and the AOP. This is another one that despite having a long build, uh, and they've been building this one for some time now, I just don't see it as a WrestleMania build. I know this show is reportedly like six hours long both nights. I don't think we need it to be that long. We could have really shaved some time off here by taking away some of these matches. Granted, I'm happy that everyone's getting the WrestleMania pay. I'm happy that everyone's getting on the WrestleMania card. I personally just have no interest in this one. But without further ado, I am going with the pride, Bobby Lashley and the Street Profits to pick up the victory. Do you agree, Woody? Next up is a singles match that I am looking forward to. I think I would have gone in a different direction and probably done a big multi-man match for the United States Championship. However, they have done the ladder match on the night before with the tag titles, so I understand this and I'm not going to complain. We have a singles match between L.A. Knight, yeah, and the phenomenal A. J Styles. It is the battles of the people with two letters as their first name. 
And I'm going with LA Knight to pick up a victory here. AJ is in the twilight of his career, I feel now. And uh, now he's going to be putting over the younger guys. I say younger guys. LA Knight's not that younger. But he's up and coming. He's a rising star. And a victory over a former WWE champion and AJ Styles would do wonders for LA Knight, I feel. I'm going with LA Knight to pick up a WrestleMania victory. What do you think, Woody? I just mentioned the United States Championship and now it is time for that match. A triple threat. The champion, Logan Paul, defending against Kevin Owens and Randy Orton. I am personally predicting Logan Paul to retain the United States Championship. KO and Randy have been getting along quite well recently and it's a little something a bit fishy about it considering both guys are notorious for not getting along very well with others. They both are hotheads. They both have egos, kayfabe. And uh, I think it's going to blow up in their face. I think they're going to both team up on Logan to start with, then get frustrated with each other, explode. Logan's going to capitalise and retain his United States Championship. Dog, what do you think? Now, one of the matches I am very much looking forward to, the Women's Royal Rumble winner, Bailey, cashing in her opportunity at WrestleMania, of course, obviously, against former friend, former faction partner, EO Sky for the WWE Women's Championship. This is Bailey's moment. She's had damage control turn on her. She's been going through the war for the last going through the wars for the last two months and it's time that she gets rewarded with a title run yet again. Babyface Bailey picking up the victory and defeating EO Sky at WrestleMania. Woody, do you agree? The World Heavyweight Championship is on the line and with the announcement of Clash at the Castle in Scotland being confirmed for June, my thoughts on this one have been solidified. And if I am wrong, I will be very, very surprised. Seth freaking Rollins defending the World Heavyweight Championship against Drew McIntyre. I've got McIntyre beating Rollins and beating him quickly in this one. I think Rollins is going to take a serious beat in the night before WrestleMania night one. It's going to cost him the World Heavyweight Championship. Drew's going to capitalise. Claymore, Claymore, Claymore. We have a new World Heavyweight Champion. Woody, do you agree? I hope you do. Because seriously, this is probably the prediction of the whole weekend that I am the most certain of. And that finally brings us to the main event of WrestleMania Night 2. I am getting deja vu saying this. The Royal Rumble winner Cody Rhodes taking on the Tribal Chief Roman Reigns for Roman's undisputed WWE Universal Championship. We don't yet know if it's going to be bloodline rules. We don't yet know if there's going to be no bloodline interference. All of that, the stipulation for this match entirely depends on the result of the tag team match in the main event of Night 1. But it's been one full year. One full year since the screw job of Mania where Solo Sokoa cost Cody Rhodes the championship. And it's time to finish the story. I never bet against my tribal chief. You watch back these predictions videos, I think maybe once out of his whole run. And probably that was Mania last year where I have turned around and said... Okay, Roman Reigns, you're losing. Other than that, every single time I have bet with the Tribal Chief, but it's not his time anymore. It has been three years. Cody Rhodes needs to finish the story at WrestleMania. And my prediction is for him to become the new undisputed WWE Universal Champion. Woody, what do you think? And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That was my predictions for WWE WrestleMania 40. I cannot believe it is WrestleMania 40. It's been 10 years since I first watched my first WrestleMania live. And that has flown by. I cannot wait for this show. I'm really looking forward to it. I will be watching it live. I will be bringing you live reactions. Or I will at least be trying to. It's going to be two long nights. A very long weekend. Hopefully... I don't fall asleep through the show considering over in the UK it airs at ridiculous o'clock 
a.m. in the morning. But either way, let me know your predictions in the comment section down below. Let me know if you're excited for this one. I'm probably more excited for this WrestleMania than I have been since, I want to say, Mania 35. Uh, it's um, I'm really, really looking forward to it, genuinely. So I want to know if you guys are feeling the same. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. That was my dog, Woody. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next video. Goodbye.